Hello, this is Mr. Knowles, and this math lesson focuses on the learning target of representing mixed numbers as fractions and decimals. And we're going to be decomposing those numbers in both ways. So here's an example of 2 and 6 tenths, and I'd like students to get in the habit of using and to represent that, that fraction or that uh, difference between the whole number and the fraction. So we have a visual down below, right here. And that visual is representing two whole numbers shaded in. So this is two. And then we have six tenths of a third one shaded in. So this one is six tenths. And up above, we have it in fraction form. And in decimal form. And what I want you to notice is that right here, they have it as 2 and 6 tenths, and then down below, they decomposed it into 2 and 6 tenths. And you could even put a little plus sign there if you wanted to, because that's that represents that. In the decimal form, they have 2 and 6 tenths. Remember, remember when you're reading decimal numbers, the decimal, you use the word and when you say that, when you say the number. And they also decomposed it into two, two ones and six tenths. So I just wanted you to make sure that you understand that. So let's look at some other ways that you might see a fraction or a decimal represented in your work in the future. Again, you might see visuals like this where they have a square and it's broken up into 10 equal parts. So each of these sections is a 10th. There's 10 strips that make up the one whole unit. So if I counted those, it'd be, there would be 10 of them. Now at home, you probably can't draw that really well. So there's a couple options. You could just draw boxes like this at home and these represent whole numbers. And then when you wanted to show tenths, you could just draw strips. And then you could write that as four tenths. So this visual model that I drew could be represented as three and four tenths. Or you could write it as a decimal, as 3 and 4 tenths. So again, you could have a number, let's say it's 2 and 7 tenths, and you had to draw a visual of it using this box method. That would be the two whole numbers. And if you needed to draw tenths, you could just draw strips. You'd need seven of them, five, six, seven, and you'd have seven tenths. So together, it's two and seven tenths. That's the fraction form. That's, or you could write it as the decimal form, two and seven tenths. You might also see fractions and decimals on number lines. So again, this is zero, not one. And every one of these is a tenth. And then that would be the number one. Uh, it's pretty small for me to write in there, but each of those would be a tenth. Let's go right here in the middle. On top's the fraction form, and on the bottom is the decimal form. You might not have this available to you either, but you learned from the previous lesson that you could simply draw a number line, start at zero, 
and try your best to make these even, these tenths. So this is one tenth, and let's see, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, one. So this is one, and this would be 10 tenths. And then remember down below, these are decimals. Decimal equivalences of the fractions above. And you could build that. You might see problems like this. So let's look at the one on the left. You'll notice that this is four. So we have four. And let me count these carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget where that five is, that's ten tenths. So up above, let me erase what I just added there. Up above, here, this would be an interesting way to show this, but this is really 4 and 10 tenths. That would be equal to 5. So now we're looking at this one right here, where that is. That's 1 tenth. But it's not just 1 tenth, it's also 4. So we have to say that this is 4 and 1 tenth. That's where that dot is. You could also write it as 4 and 1 tenth like that. Let's look at the number line on the right. Now we have 32 and 33, and there's a dot right between them. And I assume it's in tenths. I'm going to double check just in case. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, that is 32 and 10 tenths, but we would call it 33. Let me erase that. And that dot is right at 5 tenths, half. So I'm, I'm going to combine... 32 with the 5 tenths, so it's 32 and 5 tenths, or decimal form, 32 and 5 tenths. I hope that this helped you out. These different ways to see fractions and decimals on number lines and also in other visuals such as uh, this format, might be helpful to you in your work as you move ahead in what we have planned for you. If you have any questions, please ask.